Hello and welcome to the fifth lecture in our series on mitosis. Previously, we covered the basics of interphase. We discussed how chromosomes change their shape during this particular phase. We talked about mitotic spindle formation and centrosome. In this video, we will discuss the next phase, which is prometaphase. At the beginning of prometaphase in animal cells, phosphorylation of nuclear lamins causes the nuclear envelope to disintegrate into small membrane vesicles. As the process continues, microtubules invade the nuclear space. When there is disintegration of the nuclear membrane, the process is also known as open mitosis. Fungi and some protists undergo a variation called closed mitosis, where the spindle formation occurs inside the nucleus or the microtubules they penetrate inside the nucleus when the nuclear envelope is intact. Now I really hope that the difference between the open and the closed mitosis is very much clear to you all. Further, in the late prometaphase, kinetochore microtubules begin to search for and attach to the chromosomal kinetochores. Here, it is important to understand what is a kinetochore. A kinetochore is a proteinaceous microtubule binding structure that forms on the chromosomal centromere during late prophase. Finally, a number of polar microtubules find and interact with respective polar microtubules from the opposing centrosome to construct the mitotic spindle. Although the structure and function of the kinetochores are not completely understood, yet it is known that it contains some type of molecular motor for its function. What happens is, when a microtubule connects to a kinetochore, the motor activates utilizing ATP energy to climb up to the tube towards the generated centrosome. And later on, the motor activity combined with the microtubule polymerization and depolymerization provides the dragging force required to later on split the chromosome's chromatids. So these were some of the important points regarding the Prometa phase of the mitosis. Next, we will discuss the other stages of mitosis in detail. All right, my final request is if you liked the video and enjoyed these videos, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Now, let's move on to the next video.